all over um, again like my other video or videos you'll notice that I don't go to the edge just because it makes it easier to remove but you can go to the edge once you go to the edge it gives you nail a fuller look which is nicer okay so I decided to paint three of them just so you get more of a look of what they look like the next stage oh and they're dry as well by the way um, I don't know if I mentioned you can just type this uh, two way nail art nail polish on the internet and they will come up um, if you're in the UK you can get it from Argos I know they sell it there but it's a little bit expensive so just get it from the internet um, the next stage you, you the reason you need the piece of paper down is because this one they do dry up a bit so you just have to tap it and eventually it should come out if it doesn't just get some nail varnish remover thing it will come out I promise okay I got it to come out you might have to dip it in some nail varnish remover like I did and um, it should start coming out there we go As you can see it's starting to come out might be something make sure it's clean and it's flowing smoothly like this okay so I'm gonna start doing the design the way I did the lace was like this so I did like a circle bit and I did like sort of a long bit like a neck thing and then I did joined it back over I did another one on the edge come down again around it I mean try not to touch the nail with this just sort of like hover it over the nail and then I did like the stringy bits that lace has then I did um, like circle bits I mean, you can do whatever design sort of you like do maybe flowery design did that um, then you have to do the other ones of course uh, I'll do it and get back to you Okay, so I've done all three nails. Um, try to make sure that your nails are roughly the same size because they will look a bit funny as you can see because mine's broken. I'm not going to put false nails on but you can put false nails on. Um, try and keep your hand as steady as you can. Um, they're not all going to look the same but that's the closest we're going to get. Um, the next step is to... Um, okay, clearly I'm having trouble today. So the next step is, I got it to open, is the uh, black one. You're not going to really need the brush on this. You're just going to need it itself. I don't know if you can see that. And you need your tip. Uh, you can choose the size. I'd like to do a bit bigger. And this one is going to be for the button. So you just take it. Take, um, you dab that on. Get a bit there. And you're going to do one two three that's meant to be for the buttons do that again and then after that um what i do when i stick the bow on i pick the not nicest like the worst looking nail which is this one for me and i'm going to hide it with uh, my little bow so the next stage for this is you get your glue if you're using uh, normal super glue you only need one little spot this dries really quick so you have to be really quick so you put it on here just put a, a dab and then quickly grab your bow align it properly and put it on you have to wait for that to dry so uh, try not to move it and those are done be back for the final coat Okay, so we're back for the final stage, which is the top coat stage. Um, like the other tutorial, just uh, put one in the middle and then spread it over. Um, and do do the one with the bow, just because when you do it around the bow, as you can see, it will like help it stick. So anyway, uh, those are finished. Just wait for them to dry. I hope you like my shirt 
tuxedo, whatever you want to call it, nail design. Um, there is a link at the bottom of this video to my blog and uh, I have done a blog about these nails as well so you can check that out. It's got everything you need up there. I hope you enjoyed it. Please uh, rate, comment and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you for watching.